First reviews are in for the all-new Ghostbusters Afterlife, and critics are saying it is, quote, very good. We are reading the reviews for you right now, the early Twitter reactions from a very private screening of Ghostbusters, right now on Chuck Loda Comics. Hey guys, welcome back to a very special edition of the Chuckload of Comic Show, your source for the geeky headlines, the nerdy news, everything happening in the world of fandom. We break it down for you right here on YouTube and at the much larger Chuckload of Comics. Dot com. We are not in our normal studio today. We are doing a gut rehab and rebuild of the entire Chuck Loda Comics studio, but we will be back in studio next week. But the show must go on, so today we're talking about the all-new Ghostbusters Afterlife. Check it out. We have heard for months that the newest Ghostbusters film, Ghostbusters Afterlife, was awesome and that Sony Pictures was extremely happy with it. Well, that seems to be the case because Sony hosted a surprise screening at this week's CinemaCon and the response was quite good. Ghostbusters Afterlife, guys, still hopefully hits theaters on November 11th and fans are chomping at the bit for the latest installment in the Ghostbusters franchise and a very surprise move uh, by Sony here at CinemaCon. CinemaCon uh, dropped this week and they had a surprise screening for critics and theater owners who were in attendance and uh, they, while they're not allowed to give their full uh, proper review, they are allowed to post their first social media reaction so we've kind of comprised a bunch of them. They are quite good. They're not spectacular. Okay, it's not like Shang-Chi when everybody's like, oh my god, this movie's amazing, but they are very positive. So let's go ahead and read some of uh, the critics' reactions right now. The first one comes from Jeremy Fooster, who writes, I'll say that as someone that had no interest in seeing Ghostbusters Afterlife, I was pleasantly surprised and impressed by its heart and incredible acting. Logan Kim's about to become a star. I very much agree with you guys. If you haven't watched the trailer, check out uh, Logan Kim in there. Uh, the next one comes from Kate, Katie's Movies, who writes, Ghostbusters Afterlife was really great. As someone who wasn't a massive uh, fan of Ghostbusters, I had so much fun, uh, even without understanding the references. A ton of heart with a great cast. New and old fans are going to love it. Stay through the credits. All right, that's the only one I saw that said there is a at least a mid-credit, if not a post-credit scene. And if it's as good as we think it can be, um, we might be seeing a, a sequel to Ghostbusters Afterlife, man. Ghostbusters 4, and I know I'm not counting the one. Uh, you know the one I'm not counting. I'm not a big fan of that one. The next one comes from Jermaine Lucier, who had um, positive, but also maybe a little bit of negative reactions. He says, Ghostbusters Afterlife is the sequel fans have been waiting decades for, for better and worse. It's got great new characters, lots of surprises, and plenty of laughs with just the right amount of nostalgia. I loved so much of it. However, it's not without some issues. Jermaine went on to write in a separate tweet, mainly it packs so much into it. There are big leaps in logic and plot that hold it back from really firing on every cylinder. When it works, though, especially the kid, or yeah, okay, especially the kid stuff, uh, damn, it works. Just at times, it doesn't. Overall, though, I cheered, I cried, I can't wait to watch it again. So while he didn't, you know, he did point out some of its flaws, he did say that he can't wait to see it again and how he cheered and he cried. Sorry, Jermaine. Uh, next one comes from James Preston Poole, who writes, I saw Ghostbusters Afterlife. Sorry, no review, but what I can say is that it's the best of the series. Full stop. Uh, stupendously well-written, not leaning too hard on nostalgia, and telling a story better than even the original could muster. A winner in every sense. So much awesome stuff to unpack in that one tweet alone. He talks about how it's the best in the series, he said it doesn't lead too much into the nostalgia, so it's not just fan service for the sake of fan service. And uh, wow, he said telling a story better than even the original could muster. Very, very good review uh, from James Poole. Next one comes from John Gwen, who writes Ghostbusters Afterlife is a sequel that knows how to pay homage to the original while also being its own film. The stars are the kids. And they are charming on screen, giving off the Goonies meets Ghostbusters feel. 
loving that they're leaning into the kids. I'm glad it's not just going to be a Paul Rudd movie or Annie Potts or just, you know, Dan Aykroyd and some of the returning uh, cast members. So going to be a good kids movie. I love the Goonies meets Ghostbusters feel. Thank you so much, John, for that. Next one comes from Jeffrey Harris, who writes, Yes, Ghostbusters Afterlife screened at CinemaCon. Yes, I saw it. Yes, it's very good. Yes, this is a lot of yeses. Yes, this is the true Ghostbusters sequel you've been waiting for. It does have a lot of callbacks, but it's a nostalgic homage for the franchise. Love it. Now, that last one, I think it's the last one. No, I got a couple more. This one comes from Scott Menzel. Love Scott Menzel. He's the coolest guy in the world. Um, writes, Ghostbusters Afterlife is the Ghostbusters sequel that I've been waiting all my life to see. It's nostalgia done right. A perfect blend of classic Ghostbusters moments with a fresh and unique twist for a whole new generation to enjoy. I got goosebumps. It seems like most people are saying that while there is the nostalgic aspects to it, it's not just fan service for the fake of uh, sake of fan service, and I love to hear that. Um, last one comes from uh, Jason Grazio, who writes Ghostbusters Afterlife. Wow, was not expecting how heartfelt it is. It has a very childlike Spielberg vibe to it, and Jason Reitman is extremely loyal to the original. You have to assume that Jason Reitman was going to be extremely loyal to the original. What with his father, you know, directing the first one. Um, so, I don't know, guys. Get excited. Does this move your nerd needle one way or the other? I am I was already really, really excited for this film and hearing that Sony was really happy with what they had. Um, these don't really get me tons more excited because my excitement level was already on a 10. But sound off in the comments section, guys. Did these change your opinion? Were you going to go see it in the first place? Were you going to see it in a the theater? Or were you going to try to stream it? Sound off in the comment section. Let the conversation begin. Ghostbusters Afterlife hits theaters November 11th. Fingers crossed it doesn't get moved with all the COVID Delta stuff going on. So I don't know, guys. Let us know what you think in the comments section. So that's what we got for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Sorry I'm in the uh, just my random comic book room, but we will be back in a much bigger and improved Chuckload of Comics studio starting next week. So until then, guys, have a fantastic week. See you here next time.